Can you safely and effectively perform saline nasal irrigation in kids? And what age can you actually start? I'm Dr. Nkirka. I am a pediatrician and pediatric ear doctor. And in this video, I'm going to be answering a lot of questions about nasal saline irrigation, especially when it comes to kids. So saline nasal irrigation can be gross. I agree, but it can give a lot of relief to babies, kids, and even adults when used properly. Just as the name sounds, it is essentially used for rinsing out the nostrils, can be used for cleaning out germs and mucus, pollen, allergens, and for adults that have chronic sinusitis, it actually helps improve breathing and decreases flare-ups for them. What age can you use this for? It is best and preferred for kids who are actually able to sit up and lean over, so development in appropriate kids older than six months. Technically, because it involves water going through one nostril and coming out through the other, it can also be done for babies who are as young as two months of age, but it's preferred to have a professional do that in the office than at home, or maybe a professional, your provider, teaching you how to do it if your baby is younger than six months. Every baby and child is different. So even though your child may be older than six months and development your appropriate and able to lean forward, it is also best to talk with your regular doctor or ENT before performing this procedure. All you need to perform this procedure is saline water and a bottle. We really prefer the pre-made salt bicarbonate sachet mixes are much safer and easier to use for this. But if you also prefer to mix yours at home, I can help you with that. Here's how to make your own saline water for irrigation at home. First, wash your hands with warm soap and water before you start the irrigation, before mixing, after mixing it, and after the irrigation. Pour one cup of sterile or distilled water into a cup or your bottle. You can also boil water in a kettle for at least three minutes and let it to cool down. Do not use tap water for this procedure as this exposes you or your child to brain-eating bugs. Add half teaspoon of non-ionized salt and then add one quarter teaspoon of baking soda. Baking soda is an optional step, but it actually helps lock in the moisture and decreases irritation. Mix it properly and then pour into the squeeze bottle that you're going to use for the nasal irrigation. When your store bought or your homemade mix is ready, swaddle your child in a blanket to get them comfortable and easy to hold and lean them over in a sink. And then apply this mix into the nose, wash out the one nostril with the mix, and then wash out the other one after that. While you're doing a nasal irrigation, it is best to encourage your child to keep their mouth open as this makes it easier for them to mouth breathe as you do this. Younger babies and kids may not necessarily understand when you tell them to keep their mouth open, but they have a natural mechanism to protect themselves and they may gag intermittently. If you see your child looking uncomfortable while doing a nasal irrigation because they're tending to gag, you want to pause, give them a moment to recover and decide to continue after that. Some babies and kids or even adults may feel like their ears are popping during and after this procedure, and that's completely normal because the ears and throats are all connected. You want to give them a moment to recover and decide if you want to continue after that. Here are some important info I want you to always remember. Saline nasal irrigation is safe in babies, kids, and adults as long as you consider their age and make sure they have no other medical problems. It may take a little bit to get used to, but subsequently when they do get used to it, they tend to enjoy it and actually makes them feel better. Store-bought pre-made mixes might be easier to use, but it's also okay to mix yours at home as long as you follow the instructions and the composition described in my video or based on your own doctor's recommendation. Never use tap water for saline nasal irrigation and this causes a high risk for infection and brain eating box. Remember to wash out and dry out the squeeze bottles as you don't want to continue infecting yourselves if you're using dirty squeeze bottles. And while nasal saline irrigation is great and works, not every child likes its procedure. You can still use the options for putting saline in the nose and suction it with the nose frida or suction bulb suction on your device that makes it more comfortable for them to breathe. I hope you've learned a thing or two about nasal saline irrigation and how to mix your own mix at home. Leave me a comment in the comment section or a question to tell me your experiences about nasal irrigation and I will see you in the next video.